Hello gamers, geeks and gays, my name's Sturks, welcome back to Stray. We have a friend now, which is nice, I suppose. Uh, we've got a little B12, and oh, that key unlocks the door. I remember that much. Let me get that for you. Okay. Please. Oh. She's magic? Very good. Battery low already. Come over here. Okie doke. So let, let's go give him a charge. To be fair. Oh. I'm gonna have to put this on. Give me a minute to think. Oh. I have a coat now. Am I okay? Oh, I just got comfy. That's all. Oh my god. Look at the little eyes. Anyway, what I was saying, every every good gadget out of the box needs to be charged. It's the first thing that it says in every instruction manual ever. Please charge your device. So, oh my god. Cat, get up. Stop being... Stop being... What's, what's your problem? What's, what's your problem, cat? What am I doing? I'm... Where, where am I going? What am I doing? Why am I struggling? Is this really that heavy? Backpack was designed for small quadrupeds like you. Is this uncomfortable for you? Don't worry, you'll get used to it. I've digitized the key and stored it in the backpack. You have what now? I have an inventory. I'm playing a cat game. And I have an inventory. That wasn't on my uh, bucket list. Easy! If you're ever curious about an object, you can show it to me. Or to others, if we come across any. Now, let's get out of this flat. Agreed. Okay, so it turns out the cat's fine. The cat just didn't like wearing the coat. I guess actual cats do that as well, if you try to put clothes on them. I don't know. I don't have a cat. I've never tried to dress a cat. I'm going to use the keys. That doesn't look like a typical key door. That looks like... Sweet Jesus, my eyes. That's bright. Oh my. Wow. Please. <laughs> I am a menace to society. <laughs> anyway, where am I going? Let's, let's have a good look. Oh my God. Can we tone the light down a little bit? Code. There's a code. Three, seven, four, eight. Three, seven, four, eight. Three, seven, four, eight. I can remember that. That's easy peasy. Aha! Three, seven, four, eight. It's a good thing it happened then, because that would have been a good possibility. I would have forgotten that by the end. Oh! Oh, I was gonna say it's light out. It's not. There is a light out. Wow, look at this place. That elevator in the distance. That's important, I think. I know we need to go up. Elevator in the distance? Oh, elevator in the distance. That's, that's a, there we go. Elevator in the distance. Oh my God. I know a lot of this is camera trickery. It's a lot of like depth of field um, and like volumetrics, like a lot of fog and stuff. And that makes it look very, very pretty. But doesn't it make it look very pretty? It re what is going on down there? What's occurring? Oh, I'm not a fan of that. I've seen enough alien infestations to so know that ain't good. Oh, my bucket! Bring me back my bucket. Apparently not. The bucket is gone forever. Wait. I remember. The outside. Feels like I've been there before. Is this where you came from? I promised someone I would go there. Promised who? 
This postcard, the mural was painted from it. Let's take it. Okay, I'm sure someone put it there because it's meant something to them. Well, we're going to take it. Why do I have these memories? How did they get here? Let's keep going. Well, the B12 seems to have been... They seem to be something to do with... The, there was like that robot or that pod anyway. So my guess is there was... I'm going to guess there was a person in there or one of these robot people in there. And this is, you know... It's not like it was just on a hard drive, I don't think. I don't think eight, you know, they're just some random AI. Oh, the little kitty. See, look. Robots. This was a robot then. Translate that for me, please. Safe zone. Ah, yes. Safe zone. Oh, I mean, to be fair, that looks relatively safe over there. Um, is there anything else down here, though, before we go any further? You should know by now, guys, I really like exploring. Can I get down there? I feel like an actual cat would go down there. What can I... Oh, can I... Can I? Please. I just want to go exploring. Hmm. Nah, let's get in the bucket. Oh, good lord. Hello, peasants. Oh. Um, um, I, I need to go. Ah. Uh, ooh. There's a robot, gentlemen. Doesn't feel very safe if a cat can get in. The slums. Hello. Are you good or are you bad or are you scared of me? That can't be good. I'm guessing that's because I've broken in. Have they never seen a cat before? <gasps> Look at that happy lady! Alright. This is a bit strange. Does no one like me? But I'm such a good kitty. I even brought my friend. <gasps> You're hop. Oh, okay, bye. Also, the music's dope. think I'm a problem? Hello? I was going to say, please don't fight me. I'm just a kitty. Are you going to... You just did a little smile. Hello. I have no idea what they said. They seem to have their own language. You're no Zerk. We're not familiar with your kind. You're welcome in our village as long as you don't eat anyone. I'll try not to. I love the world building. Oh, they look so scared. Oh, look at their bow tie.
I am obsessed. Alright, so we're actually... You look lost. What do you need? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, show item. Postcard. Oh! The picture of the outside. Ridiculous. This elevator isn't operational. Everyone knows it is impossible to leave this place. Well, except the outsiders. But they're all gone now, except Momo. You can try to talk to him if you want, but he gave up on trying to leave. It's for the best. He lives high up in that building, the orange neon sign. That one. That one. <laughs> Thank you, game. I was going to find it anyway, because I'm clever. I, I want to go have a look first. Hello, guys. <gasps> you gave us such a fright. We thought you were a zerk. Oh, very pretty. <laughs> you really thought you'd take the elevator? I've never seen that thing work, and I'll be 374 years old tomorrow. Oh. Huh. Can I show you it? Such a beautiful dream. What a shame, it's just a dream. So they all just live here? I mean, I know they, I know they, live, they all live here, but like... Why? What happened? Why go up there? There's nothing there. I think Momo has some pictures just like this. Did you show it to him? Maybe it's Momo's picture. Ooh. Oh, wait. <laughs> no, it's meant to be. <clears throat> um... I will leave them be. I feel very silly now. Let's, um... Hello, Mr. Gardener. Could I say hello? Oh, I like your bucket hat. It's very cool. Oh my god, this is so cool. Right. Goodbye, Mr. Guardian man. I'm going to go to the orange neon sign. Which is this building here, by the looks of it. What's this say? Announcement. I'm looking for any sheet music to play the guitar to add some ambiance. If you find any, bring them back to me. I live near the elevator. Morusk. Oh, so we need to look for some sheet music. Ooh. It is this building, right? Big, tall building. I'm guessing I'm going to need to park all my way up here if people have locked themselves inside. Thinking that I was going to eat them. Do I need to park all my way up? I don't know. I'm going to presume so. <gasps> Hello! Those circles of light are pleasing to watch, but I want to see the real sky one day. The outside. Momo told me he'd get me there one day. You can come with us, Swinny Doe. I promise, you can come with us. Right. Over here. Up there. Make some chaos as we go. What are they throwing paint for? What you doing? Oh. Oh, I won't go and knock all them over. That'd be cruel. <laughs> are they actually stacking them one by one? Because if they are, that's really... Oh no, okay, they're just popping it there. I thought they were like actually stacking it and I was going to be incredibly impressed. Momo? You look very colourful, Momo. And very sad. Why are you sad, Momo? Why does Momo look sad? It's never going to work. Why did I let them go? I'm all alone now. Hey, you, what do you want? This is a picture of the outside. Do you, do you want to go there? Well, don't bother, it's a waste of time. It'll bring you only loneliness and despair. My friends had this dream too, but now they're gone. 
and I'm all alone. I don't know where they ended up. I tried to contact them, but that fucking transceiver doesn't work. I love it. My friends and I took notes of our research about the outside. Here, take mine if you really want to go out there. Momo's notebook, one out of four. You're on your own. I'm done with the outside. Good luck. Why well, you don't don't give up, Momo? Momo seems very sad. He misses his friends. Let me check the notebook he gave us. The outside is manifesto. We must go outside at any cost. We must protect our brothers and sisters. We must stay away from Zerks. It is signed Clementine, Zaboltzar, Zabolt Balthazar. I was going to call them Balthazar. 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 There we go. Doc and Momo. It looks like Momo's name was added later. I think we should find the other notebooks. Okay. Outsiders. So this is a sign for outsiders. I've got a feeling we might need that on occasion. Wait, but they're actual people. They're like people, people. And a cow. Bit of an odd mix, but I'll deal with it. The city has a cylindrical shape. Oh, how do I scroll? Ah, there we go. Has a cylindrical shape of about 450 meters in diameter. There is a level above ours. The city seems to have a ceiling. If I believe my books, a big blue sky is hidden behind it. And they've got a postcard. Yeah, they've got a postcard just like ours. Who's who's the grandma looking character? Mm, why do I feel like do I need that? That looks important. See another human. Why do they have pictures of humans? Very weird to me. Is there anything up here I can prat about with? No. It's kind of giving me, and I know th this came first, but it's giving me um, creator vibes. The, um, I can't remember the gentleman's name now who directed it, but the, the guy who did Rogue One, he did the creator. And this is reminding me of that. Oh, back home to, I remember this video game. It was made just after I was created, I think. I can't remember it well. The scientists and I spent a lot of time playing it. It was fun. I miss him. Why can't I remember his name? I don't know. Why can't you remember his name? And what's happening with the music? Hey, little cat, are you still looking for those useless notebooks? Yes, I am. That's my notebook. I was the last to join the Outsiders, and I'm also the last remaining one. Okay, so that hasn't really given me much to go on. The symbol on the wall matches the one on the notebook. Oh, so it does. That seems like a lead. Thank you, B12, because otherwise I was going to say I'm a little bit stumped as to what we need to do next. But looks like B12 has got us all sussed out. We're going to try not and ruin everyone's kind of nicely collected stuff, because I am a guest here. And I don't want to... I don't want to ruin my... Oh, welcome. Sorry. This is quite homely. All oh, that music's itching my brain. Oh, I got I'm having a moment. That is so. What is that sound? It's almost like a digital kind of steel drum kind of vibe that's awesome that's i had a moment of seeing jesus then for a moment that was 
Wonderful. Right, can I squeeze through here? Yes, I can, baby. Hmm. Oh, sheet music. I need that. Six out of eight. Jesus Christ. I definitely need sheet music because I want to give it to whoever's playing the guitar. I can't remember who's playing the guitar now, but we will go and find them. <gasps> Robot Gandhi, perhaps? I don't know. What's up here? Uh, Clementine's notebook. Huzzah! An outsider notebook. Sorry, cat. I forgot you could just meow on your own. It's the same logo as the one Momo gave us. This one seems to belong to someone named Clementine. Everything's going according to plan. We managed to contact the upper level before the transceiver went down. They're in a place called Midtown and apparently it's controlled by some kind of oppressive force. I talked to Momo earlier. His eyes. I know this look. He'll not come with us. Let's find the other notebooks. I, I don't blame Momo, to be fair. If that's what you're told is waiting for you on the upside. I don't think I'd particularly want to go. You know, I'm, I'm not that fond of uh, oppressive regimes, I'm going to be honest. This looks like a good place to sit. But for now, no more sitting. We have things to all to be doing. I'm sorry, Clementine. Now, oh my god. Why is my phone... Oh, I think my cat needs glasses. There we go. That's better. There's another one over there. I can see that blue. So go see that one. And then I'm guessing from there we'll see the next one. That seems to be how... Yeah, there's another one over there. Oh my god, we are so speedy. We'll go do this one first. I think we need to go across... Oh my god. Ah! I just flipped that chair like no one's business. Apologies, gentlemen. <gasps> oh, don't knock them. That would have been cruel. We're going to have to go in through the roof, mayhaps. Right, I need something to break that. I can't just run in there. Ventilation power supply. That'll work. I'll pop it back afterwards, I promise. Oh. Just think, this is how easy cats can get inside your home. You think your cat house is cat proof? It is not cat proof. Unless it is completely trussed up, 100% tight. It is not cat proof. It's not cat safe. Robot granny again. Okay. Uh, right. Where am I going? What am I doing? Looking for a book. <gasps> I'm doing a drinky. Is there anything? Obvious. Don't believe so. I can't see anything obvious. I've got a postcard. Where would they? <gasps> oh. Oh. Oh! Problem solving. Okay. That's cool. But is this... Hang on, wait, 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 wait. Is that where I need to go now? I think that might be where I need to go now. Which makes me sad. Can I move this? Or is this going to be a... That's a big heavy door. But where's... I think it would be in here, wouldn't you? If they were going to keep their journal. Oh, what's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Ha! I was right. That was close. Nice work. Another notebook. This one seems to belong to someone named Balthazar. All trace of organic life has disappeared 
except for what we call the Zerks. They seem to eat almost anything that moves and breed at an inconceivable rate, as if being locked in this city wasn't hard enough. Let's find the other notebooks. So that implies then that they were locked in this city first before this outbreak. I don't know if I trust going down there yet. We'll go up because I know the other one is over there. So we'll go get this last notebook. Ha! Oh, nearly fell. Right, let's go grab this. Hello. Goodbye. Can I? Oh. Oh my god. I'm a little thief. I like how the music's getting a little bit kind of like funky. Okay, let's have a look. Oh my god, how am I meant to find the book in here? It's nothing but books. Where would I keep my favourite book? Oh my god, where would I keep my favourite book? In here, perhaps? Oops. Hey dog, I found the keys to your safe. You need to be more careful with these. It's not enough to bury your safe behind a bunch of books. Jess the Librarian. Okay, so we've got the keys. Something about... Ugh. Something about burying the safe behind a bunch of books. Right, so I'm looking for some books that I can interact with. I need books that I can interact with. And what kind of... Where would I hide? my books oh no who's this how to develop your artificial intelligence in order to be as creative as a real human volume 42 <laughs> it's actually kind of sad <gasps> oh my lord look at on. Up time, kitty. I, I feel like right. Oh, she music. Oh, that's loud. We need to get further up. This reminds me of Little Nightmares, and not in a good way. This reminds me of um, the, the the janitor. You know exactly what I'm talking about if you played Little Nightmares. Uh, okay, so it's not up there. Oh my god. Where are you hiding it? It's not enough to hide your safe behind a bunch of books, is what they say. Right? That. Why do you have books in the fridge? That's, anyway. <laughs> Sorry, I just got a cat so close to the camera, like... Hello. Hello, kitty. <laughs> oh my god, where am I going? I feel so... Where's the safe, then? Oh my god, where is it? I will find you! Wait, 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 wait. No, that was just the translation again. I will find it. I will find it. I will find it. I will Die trying. Can I not get up there? Where the flipping hell would I put? I don't know if this is gonna uncover anything or is this just here so I can scratch the sofa? Let's just say so I can scratch the sofa. Fair enough, my guy. Ah! 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 
Ha! I see you! I see you! I'm gonna do vandalism! Uh, right, uh, keys. <laughs> Finally, the last notebook. This one seems to belong to someone named Doc. After weeks of research, I've combined a spectrometer with a powerful UV lamp. With this, we should be able to be capable of warding off the Zergs on our way out. The initial attempt was explosive. Might have to test it under real conditions. Oh! There's also a note in this book. It says, I found a design flaw in the transceiver, but I think I figured out how to fix it. Here's the equation. With this, we should be able to help Momo repair the transceiver. If it could communicate with the upper levels, that could be our way up. Let's show them what we found. That sounds good. That sounds very, very good. Momo! I'm on my way. Come on, Momo. Where are you? Oh, oh dear. That could have been nasty. Luckily, the cat has some level of common sense and does not... <gasps> does not just use itself off. It was going to be the words I was about to utter before I thought the cat had indeed just used itself off. Ah, uh, cat. That way. Hey, Momo. Why the long face? Uh... Doc's notebook. Oh, it belonged to Doc. He was really a huge nerd for electronics and stuff. He was always on the verge of a great discovery. Yeah, I, I know. Oh, do I have to show them all of it? Do I? Oh, you found Clementine's notes. She was really brave, you know. The most fearless person I ever met. Wait, you actually found all my friend's notebooks? Oh, what's that note? The transceiver can be repaired. This is incredible! That means we should be able to communicate outside the slums. Look at that geezer's face. Clementine, Balthazar, Doc. I'm sorry, I doubt that cause. I promise you... I will find a way to reach the surface. Thank you. We might be able to find you a way up. Now, let's fix this piece of junk transceiver. Let's do it. Oh, look at them work. Eh, voila. It works. Come with me. Okie dokie then. Up there. See that building high above the others? If you install the transceiver at the very top of that tower, we should be able to communicate with the whole city. My friends might still be out there. If there is a way out, they'll know it. You're the only one small and quick enough to evade the Zerks. We need you, little outsider. Bring us to the sky. I will definitely... Definitely try. Momo. I love this so much. But now though, guys, that's all I have time for. Um, I'm absolutely loving this. I'm, I am I, love my little coat. I love my little robot. I love the big robots. I just, I love the world building. And the world that we have to explore. I do want to know what's happened, though. But I feel like I don't have to dig too far to find out. I feel like this is a game that's going to hopefully kind of tell us as we go along. Um... But I do want to do a few secret kind of hunting sessions, even if that's in my own time at the point. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for the love and the support so far. As always, I have been Sturks. You guys have been absolutely incredible. I'll catch you all later for the next part of this little adventure.